Hey, Liam Ward here at LearnTheHarmonica.com. Today we're talking about what harmonicas you need to pick up to play in any given key. This is a question I get asked a lot and I just want to clear up some confusion and hopefully leave you with uh, more knowledge and more ability to know which harmonica you need to use. So the answer to this question is based on the idea of positions. So I'm going to start talking a little bit about positions and we're going to go through what harmonicas you need for each position. If you want to delve deeper into the concepts related to positions, then I have a premium course step by step and I will put a link to that in the description. I'll also put a link to a free summary of this lesson, including the diagram that is about to come on the screen right about now. So this diagram shows every key of harmonica and every position of harmonica and tells you which key you'll be in if you're using that key of harmonica for that position. So it's an all round diagram for all different positions and all different keys. So basically you can refer to this, but I am going to talk more specifically about first, second and third position because they are the most common positions you're going to use and I'll talk about what they tend to be used for as we go. So first off, positions or the concept of positions is all about the relationship between the key of the harmonica and the key of the song. So the harp key you're on and the song key you're in. And the reason this question of what harmonica key do I need comes up is because there are loads of different positions you could choose to play. So let's start with the most basic. First position, as you'll see on the diagram, is just the same key as the harmonica. So to play in first position, you're just picking up the same key harmonica as the key of the song. And this is most common for major scale melodies, major um, scale kind of uh, songs and licks and riffs. And you're going to hear this mostly with uh, simple nursery rhymes, folk songs and pop songs that have that bright kind of happy um, light sort of feel. So that's the kind of the simplest position, if you like, and there's nothing, nothing to work out. So let's skip on to second position. Now, if you're playing blues music, it's likely that you'll need to know what key harmonica you'll need for second position. So we'll spend a bit of time looking at this. Second position gives you a lovely kind of tension between major and minor. The notes that it gives you uh, really kind of give you some emotional sort of feel and the way they fall on the harmonica means you can add lovely textures and depth to your playing. So if we look at the second position column on the harmonica, if the harmonica is in the key of C, you'd be playing in the key of G in second position. And if you go back the other way, if you know the song is in G, then you'd need a C harmonica. Similarly, let's say the song is in F, then you're going to need a B flat harmonica. And if the song is in A, you'd need a D harmonica. So you can just read along this diagram, make sure you're going the right way. So you need to either go from the key of the song or the key of the harmonica, depending on which way you need to work it out. It's most likely Say you're at a jam or playing with friends, they'll tell you the song key and you need to work out the right harmonica. And again, it's about context because second position is most uh, popular with blues because it gives you blue notes. Compared with first position, which is more kind of light and jolly. Second position is also popular with country music, uh, rock and roll music, some folk music depending on context. 
So if you're not sure which position you want to play, it's worth talking to a guitarist or whoever's playing the chords, whether it's piano or whatever, and ask them what kind of chords they are. Um, ask them what kind of style of music it is. Ask them uh, whether it's kind of bluesy, whether it's major, whether it's minor, and they'll be able to help you out. But second position is great for that kind of somewhere between major and minor, and you can just refer to this diagram to check which harmonica for which key. If you did want to work it out, then from the key of harmonica to the key of the song is an interval of a fifth. So what that means is if you start, for example, with a C harmonica, you can count up the C scale, C, D, E, F, G. Okay, so the fifth note of the C scale is G. So that means on a C harmonica, second position is G. And if you wanted to go back the other way from the song key to the key of the harmonica, you just go backwards. So you'd go G, F, E, D, C. Or you could count up four, but you're probably gonna to wanna to go down. And that's the, the kind of relationship between the two keys. Your home base, if you like, for, for second position is the two draw note, which is the same as the three blow, you can also get on the six blow and the nine blow. So they, they're all G notes on my C harmonica. So moving on to third position. Third position is really popular for minor scales playing songs in minor keys. Because of the notes that uh, fall into nice places and you can get expressive sounds with them and it, it means that you can access the uh, minor scale easier than in first or second position. So if we look at our diagram, if we had a C harp, our third position key would be D and most likely D minor. So again, if, if you know the song is in D or D minor, then you'd need a C harmonica. And if you've got a G harp, your key would be A. If the song is in A, then you know you need a G harp. And again, you can use this diagram for any key of harp or any key of song. Just make sure you're going the right way. The uh, theoretical relationship here is closer than in the second position. So from C to D is just from the first degree of the scale, first note of the scale to the second. So you just have to jump up one in the scale from C to D or from G to A. And equally, if you wanna go from the song back to the key of harmonica, then D to C, A to G. So it's actually quite a simple relationship. And that means that your um, home key, your kind of home base, for, for third position is the one draw, the four draw, or the eight draw. So that's the D notes on our C harmonica. And as I said, this is really popular for minor scales and, and uh, songs in minor keys. Positions don't determine the scales that you have to play, but they'll suggest they'll heavily want you to play certain scales. That means you can go against that, you can fight the instrument, but uh, third position will naturally want to have more of that minor sounding thing to it. So it's not necessarily to do with genre, style of music at this point, but if a song is in a minor key, so whether it's blues, whether it's country, rock, folk, third position will generally suit you quite well. So it's worth checking, again, if you're at a jam or a playing with people or using a backing track, find out if the song is in a minor key and then this third position may uh, be useful for you. I've put a link in the description so you can download the diagram that we've been using in this lesson along with a summary of everything that I am talking about. So very briefly, I just want to mention the other positions because the diagram has all positions from 1st to 12th. So that means that in theory, you could play in all keys on any one harmonica. But I just want to mention that first, second and third will 
um, serve you pretty well for most styles, most styles of generally broadly popular Western music. So first, second or third will usually work for most of the songs that you want to play. Some other positions are used and I just want to mention that it's not necessarily that the lower the number the easier the position is to play. So 4th, 5th, 6th, 7th aren't necessarily easier than 11th or 12th. Now that's to do with the notes that are shared between the home key, the key of the harmonica, and then the key you're trying to play in. And if you want to learn more about that, I have videos on the circle of fifths, which will help you understand more of the theory behind that. I'll put a link to those in the description below. And of course, it's all covered in my step-by-step -step course on positions and nodes. So I'll put a link to that as well. Let me know in the comments any questions you have, if there's anything you want me to clarify. I try and answer as many as I can. I hope this video has been useful for you. If it has, I'd love it if you gave me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel because then you'll get all my free harmonica lessons every single week. I'll see you for another lesson soon. Cheers.